Mac and her parents lived in an old bus, which they made into a home. Maggie was feeding Nikki her pet cricket when her mother called from across the river. Maggie, come over please. I need some things from the grocery. Okay, Mom, I'll be right there. Maggie paddled home. She hung Nikki's cage on a tree next to her house. Then she got her mother's shopping list and was off. On her way, she passed her friends. Hey, what a cage my pop built for Nikki, she yelled. Wow, are you lucky, called Paco. Can we see it? Sure, I'll pick you up on my way home, said Maggie. Pirate? asked Katie. Yeah, who's the pirate? Paco asked. Maggie stared at the note in horror. Maggie began tacking up signs. What's so special about a cricket anyway, asked Katie. I like him. That's what, answered Maggie. And the note read, Pirate, keep cage, please return cricket. I'm going to find that pirate, shouted Maggie. We'll come too, said Paco. But how will we know what he looks like? What if he's bigger than us, whispered Katie. They started out. Maggie stopped and listened. Listening? <laughs> Crickets were chirping in the night. I must find Nikki before it's too late, she said. <laughs> she walked over softly, climbed a big and peeked in. It was the pirate's hideout. And there was the pirate holding Nikki's cage. Hey, I know you, and that's my cricket. Maggie dived into the tree house. She scuffled with the pirate, trying with all her strength to get Nikki. Splash! The tree house came loose and crashed into the river. Nikki's dead. He drowned. Maggie cried. She ran off with Nikki, leaving the cave. They buried Nikki. Maggie wrote his name on a piece of wood and put it over the small grave. Paco picked some flowers and brought them over. Then they sang sad songs. Suddenly, the pirate appeared. Why did you do that? asked Maggie. We never did anything to you. It was the cage. I wanted it real bad, said the pirate. I didn't mean for the cricket to die. My old man, he never makes anything for me. He doesn't ever talk to me. The pirate handed the cage to Maggie. She held it up. A beautiful sound came out. They all sat down together. Nobody said anything. They listened to the new cricket singing. Thank <laughs> you.